than someone who is born in a very good family, probably in Medina or uh, Mecca, uh, in terms of the rewards? That is my question. Okay, first of all, a lot of the people think it is not fair for you, Sheikh Asim, to be born in Saudi, next to Mecca and Medina, you get to learn Islam, you get to go to Mecca every month, you go to Medina every few months, you worship Allah. While we were born in Morocco or in Indonesia or in the Philippines, and we're not from a practicing family. It's not fair. Who are you judging, Allah? Allah gave me this gift. And Allah gave you that gift. If you look in Indonesia, you will find more practicing people than me, more knowledgeable people than me. And if you look in Saudi Arabia, in Mecca, you will find people in Mecca who had never gone to Haram. Residents of Mecca, living in Mecca, five minutes away from Kaaba, never went to Kaaba. Why? They don't like Kaaba. They never prayed in Masjid al-Haram. So guidance is in Allah's hands. He gives it to people in America. And I've seen scholars and students of knowledge in America, mashallah, that are abiding by Islam like we are abiding in Islam in Mecca and Medina. Very heartwarming. But in Muslim countries, we find women not wearing the hijab men going to concerts movies not praying on time doing drugs so this is not unfair this is your choice if you wanted something you work hard for it you in any country of the world like spanish you will learn it from an app you will subscribe to an internet site that would teach you. You will pay money to learn until you master Spanish. You look for it. You love Allah. You work hard to strive and learn your ibadah and learn your religion properly and you will reach there. So it's not the country, Akhi. It's in the guidance of your heart. If Allah guides you, you will reach there, inshallah.